Well, we're back uh, right here on Hela Kuwait, and I hope everyone out there is enjoying their evening. We have with us right now Dr. Sara Ani, and she is a senior specialist uh, orthodontist. Uh, Dr. Sara, welcome to our program, Hela Kuwait. Thank you for having me. Nice to have you with us uh, right Thank here on so the much. program. Uh, uh, so first off, uh, Doctor, uh, tell us when should you get your first checkup for braces? You should get your first orthodontic checkup at the age of seven uh, because uh, we usually check for the development of the jaw and the development of the teeth. We check if they're coming out in the right direction and at the right time. And usually uh, we like to identify if there are any orthodontic problems early on because what we can do is we can treat these problems successfully and with less invasive treatment during the growth spurt. It depends on the growth spurt. If we do that, then it's much, 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 much less likely when they grow up for them to need adult tooth extractions and jaw surgeries. So, so what do you look for, Dr. Sara, when you do the first checkup at seven you years old? You look at the development of the jaws. Mm -hmm. You check the upper jaw is coming out, uh, the upper jaw is developing in the right direction as long as w al along with the lower jaw. We check the development of the teeth, if they're coming out in the right time, in the right direction, and there's no big gap between two teeth coming out at the same time. For example, if you lose your, uh, if, the, if the child loses his upper tooth on the right, there's no, th there's not a six month gap between the second one coming out. So they need to come out bet within six months. Why is that? Because uh, if, we c af if it's past six months, then we would consider that as a delay. So we would check with an x-ray if there's anything blocking it, if, okay. there's, anything, if there's any problems, an x-ray would show that. So during that checkup, uh, <coughs> can you determine if someone needs braces at that time or it's you still would, too you early? You would review. You would keep on reviewing. But some there are some signs that... There are some it. signs. For example, usually between the ages of 8 to 10, if somebody has an underdeveloped upper jaw, then we can help, uh, we can help provide a removable treatment that can help promote, not really promote, but like guide the upper jaw in the right direction to catch up with the lower jaw. Okay. And that only works between 8 to 10. So these are some, like tell us now, you do need braces. What's important to get done before you start? You mentioned some. Before Tell you us more. Yeah, so before you start, first of all, you need to be motivated to actually want braces because this is a commitment and this is uh, an aesthetic thing. It's so a commitment for like a two, three year period or more or less? Uh, this, uh, it depends on, depends on each case. Okay. So, but it is a commitment. So whether it's months or a couple of years, you need to be motivated enough to come, to come in because um, we're going to go through that later on, like it depends on the severity of the sure, case sure. and the treatment. So go ahead, Dr. Sarah. Yeah, sorry. So, so first of all, what you need to do is you need to have your teeth cleaned, check if you have any cavities, if there's any fillings to be made, that all to be done. If there's any gum disease that needs to be settled down first, and then we start braces. Okay. So what are the types of braces available, doctor? Well, we have the fixed braces, and that comes in metal and ceramic. We have the removable, removable appliances that I talked about that we can start in the younger age, um, 8 to 10, or during the growth spurt, that's uh, removable. And we have the removable aligners, or the invisible braces. Um, there are many brands of them, and the most well-known brand is Invisalign. Okay, why is that? Is it very popular? It is very popular these days because it's invisible and it does the same, it has very similar mechanics to a fixed braces. And uh, the benefit of the Invisalign is with fixed braces, when you want to brush your teeth, you tend to get a lot of food stuck around your teeth. So you would need extra support, for extra time and ex uh, more effort to clean your teeth. Whereas with Invisalign, it's removable. So there's nothing stuck on your teeth. So you can brush your teeth and your gums fairly easily as if you don't have... And visually it looks better, I think. Visually it looks nicer, sure, definitely. Sure, that's true. Yeah. Everyone likes the, yeah. the visual look these days. Yeah. So, so how do we brush with braces? What kind of floss do we use? Give us some details about this, this in answer here, please. So when it comes to brushing, you would use a soft, to, soft or medium toothbrush. It could be your preference, but the... The goal is to brush for a minimum of two minutes. So you have toothbrushes with have, which have a timer in them. That can be beneficial. Or you can have a, just with your phone, a timer on your phone, just to make sure that you brush for a good whole two minutes to ensure that everything is clean. Because food does tend to get stuck on fixed braces. If you have the fixed type, you need to brush really well. And it will be beneficial for you to use a water floss. A water flosser can get anything that's stuck after brushing in between the teeth. Keeps everything nice and clean. Okay, so what can influence the treatment length? Tell us about that. Treatment length is determined by a, a number of factors. The first thing is the severity of the case and the doctor's plan for that case. 
And the second part can be the uh, compliance, which means with the patient that he's willing to come in on time for his appointments, um, to take care of his braces, not break them. And Why they can break easily? They break easily if you don't uh, take care with eating. Eating hard stuff will definitely break them. You need to take care with what you eat, for example, nuts and popcorn. Sometimes you would have that little bit that's not popped. It can break your brace. Every time you break, it will delay your treatment time. You need to come back in, get it fixed, get the tooth in the right place, and then continue. So that adds on. And the more you break, the more it adds on to the time. Yeah, so it can yes. be a lengthy period if you don't take proper precautions. Yes, that's why motivation uh, is very important. And you actually wanting, because you want it, then you'll take care of it and you'll finish quickly. Very well said, yeah. doctor. Right now we're going to take a short break and then be back with our distinguished guests. Stay tuned. Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and if you're just tuning in, we have with us uh, Dr. Uh, Sara Ani, and she is a senior specialist orthodontist. Uh, Dr. Sara, welcome back to our program. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, for having me. Our pleasure. Dr. Sara, now tell us about retainers. What are retainers? How long do we need them for, and what are their purpose, please? So retainers, um, basically, on the day that you take off your braces, we take a mold of your teeth, and we will produce like a plastic mold of how they look like on the day that you've taken them off. So previously, I used to tell my patients to wear them full time for the first three to six months to really hold the teeth in place and then nighttime only. But recently, the most recent studies have shown that actually nighttime only is sufficient enough, but this is a long term, lifelong thing. So I would tell my patients now if they would like to keep their teeth nice and straight, wear them every night. Forever? Forever. Really? Yes. Okay, it can teeth help? Have, teeth have a tendency to want to move back to where they came from. Ah, so yeah. even if you've had braces, yeah. if you take them off, they can go back to being a little crooked after yes. years, huh? Yes, uh, the thing is, like, the, what we provide for you the day that we take them off is how they look, the mold will look like that exactly. If you lose that mold and then you come back two or three months later, te teeth will have moved. So if we try to make another mold, it will just look like the teeth that have moved already. It okay. won't go back to the same day. So the retainer yeah. is an important thing it's a very to kind important of keep thing. things in line. It's actually more important than the braces. Okay. That's ma this, this maintains your... This is a good your point. Tell yeah. us more about this now. It maintains your smile for the, for the rest of your life. As long as, the, as long as you want to keep them nice and straight, you wear the retainers. If you do not wear them, they have a big tendency to, to go back for, uh, to how they were before. And um, there are, there's another type, it's usually uh, it's what called a fixed retainer. It's a little wire that you put behind the teeth, and we don't extend it between all the teeth. It's just from the uh, canine to canine. Um, this can help patients who have uh, gaps in their teeth and maintain them in the right place, but you still have to wear the plastic mold on top of it okay. to maintain your bite. Because, for example, I have them, but I did not wear my retainers. My, bat my bite went, b went back as how it used to be. Okay. Yes. So it has to go hand in hand then? Hand in hand, yes. And this is something you would put on in the evening when you sleep? Yes, only. What about yeah. people who have had braces many years ago? Many, many years ago and they feel that something's a little off but they want to, can they get a retainer to put in or that doesn't make sense? Uh, well, it doesn't, no, a retainer will only m hold your teeth as they are today, yeah. for example. But if you would like to have something invisible and move the teeth to have a nicer smile, then that would be with clear aligners, that would be Invisalign. So people, yes. even at a, let's say, older age, yeah. they put braces now, right? It's become yes, yes. more popular. It's very popular Tell us now. more about that then. So um, it depends on the person himself. It's they would like to have the metal braces, there's a metal braces. If they would like to have uh, ceramic braces, it's the same as the metal, but it's white color. So it's not going to really show, it's more aesthetic. But if they're not happy with having any metals, then they would have to go with the clear aligners. The clear aligners, which, which is Invisalign, um, the benefit of that is that it's actually like nobody would notice that you have something in your mouth. So, so you that's nice for an yeah. adult, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because we're, much, we associate much, much more the stuff. braces more with the teenagers or yeah, young people yeah. and they have the braces in. Yeah. But now it's become even trendy for older yes, adult, young adults yes. and everyone to have it. Yeah. So tell us, Dr. Sara, what's new in the field <coughs> of orthodontics, please? Um, well, the, what's great with technology is, for example, with Invisalign, um, we ha instead of taking the molds to, move, to send to the company for them to make you the aligners, now we have a scanner. So we scan the teeth as opposed to taking the mold and the newest software, while you're sitting in the chair, you can scan the teeth and you can see your result within two minutes after the scan. Wow. So you can see your before and after while you're sitting there. 
um, it's, a predict it's a prediction, but it's for you to see how it would look like. And then you can decide whether you want to go ahead or not. Yeah, technology's come a long yeah, way, huh? Yeah, definitely. Well, Dr. Sal, it's a, a pleasure to have you with us right here Thank on Hala Kuwait. Do you have any bit of words or comments for the audience uh, watching the program tonight? Well, thank you for having me. I hope that so what we talked about was very beneficial for you, and I hope that we start our checkups early. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Dr. Sara. Thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We'd like to thank our guest, uh, Dr. Sara Ani, a senior specialist orthodontist for a time with us this evening uh, right here on Hala uh, Kuwait. Right now, we're going to go to our next event, and it's the uh, our next report, and it's the World Diabetes Day event. Stay tuned.